Welcome to the first edition of the 2010 Pro Drift video podcast, coming from round one of the Pro Drift Ireland series for Moy Cork. Following a long off-season, Pro Drift was back for 2010 in front of a packed house at the Cork venue, and thousands of Irish Drift fans were eagerly awaiting the first Pro Drift battle of the new year. Taking place on a custom-built course, Fermoy would test the capabilities of these new teams and challenge the drivers on a brand new layout. Following morning practice, drivers prepared for the first super lap qualification of the season. Pro-class rookie Mike Fitzgerald was the first driver to enjoy a prolonged stay in the hot seat before he was unseated by Shane O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan remained until Nigel Colford delivered a better lap of the course, but almost immediately the Wexford driver was defeated by the eventual winner of pole position, local 18-year-old James Dean driving the Nexon Mazda RX-7. As the crowd enjoyed some half-time entertainment and passenger rides, the Pro Drift Elite were preparing to battle in front of a capacity audience for the first time in 2010. James Dean continued his excellent form, defeating Conor Lenehan. John Paul McCarthy, driving a borrowed car, was beaten by non-seeded graduate Michael Sheehan, and the Bridgestone Nissan of Mike Fitzgerald moved on to the Great Eight, following this victory over Donald Gary. Darren McNamara was unable to control his heavily damaged Corolla, meaning Shane O'Sullivan would move on to the top eight. New to Team Nexon, Christy Carpenter couldn't hold off the 2009 champion and Mike Dean moved on. Alan Sinich driving his new look Hankook Toyota Corolla was also advancing following this victory over Dan Moorhead. Sinich's Hankook teammate Alan Lenehan also progressed following this friendly nudge from up and coming rookie Kevin O'Connell. Nigel Colford took the final top eight position following this victory over Gavin Lenehan. Kicking off the grade eight, mechanical problems for Michael Sheehan handed an easy passage to the semi-finals to James Dean. Shane O'Sullivan ended Mike Fitzgerald's day, the Bridgestone Nissan unable to match O'Sullivan's pace. Following a sudden death battle, Hankook's Alan Sinnott knocked out reigning champion Mike Dean in his Silverstone S13. Alan Lenehan couldn't match the performance of his Hankook teammate and exited the competition following defeat to an inform Nigel Colfer. The first semi-final saw James Dean defeat the Elite Autos Nissan of Shane O'Sullivan. The local Nexon driver moved into the round one final. Dean was joined in the final by Wexford's Nigel Colfer. The Toyota-powered Nissan had too much pace for Hankook's Alan Sinnott. Battling for the remaining podium position, Shane O'Sullivan pushed too hard in a sudden death battle, handing the third place trophy to Alan Sinnott. And so to the Fermoy final, Dean versus Colfer. Top qualifier Dean had looked unstoppable all day, and following two blistering passes of the Fermoy course, Colfer was unable to match his younger opponent. James Dean took a unanimous victory from the Pro Drift judges and with it the maximum championship points from the Pro Drift season opener. I struggled on Saturday practicing here and I found the car a lot different to the S15. We made a few changes this morning and it made a big difference. Last year was it was a full development year really with the car. Um, I just got so many issues with it, um, and in the off season there, uh, anything that went wrong la wrong last year uh, fixed and changed. Everything just seems to really come together now, and I'm really happy with the car, and it should be on form for the year hopefully. Yeah, at the end of last year, they're always making changes to the car and trying it again, and just fairly happy with it. I know it's it's working well for me. Looking forward to Punchdown. I was lost at home, so hopefully it should go well. From Fermoy, the Pro Drift Series heads to the renowned Punchestown race course on May 30th for what promises to be an unmissable weekend of drifting competition. For all Pro Drift information, you can check out ProDriftSeries.com. Yeah.